Tungi events and other things. But I have not particularly thought that influencer politics is my kind of politics. I like to, but if, I, if I'm invited by any big person, I tend to go there, uh, uh, you know, just to honor them. But I have never thought that uh, influencers are going to be the, the driver of the democratic system. Uh, so his opinion about the election or about anything is not really that important to me. And as a Nigerian citizen, he has the right to have friends. All I know is that of the presidential candidate, he has a number of friends. For example, I know Chowere is quite close to him because we go and we uh, drink that can wine together or something. Or I don't know if they even go hunting for beer together. But I see that Chowere goes there all the time. His uh, uh, friend, close Peter Obi, always go there and take photos and, and talk. And most of Peter Obi's uh, operatives, or Shintoku, and many of them, they are Bolivian um, uh, caste people. Uh, so they, they, are, they belong to that group. And Tinubu uh, is, is a life partner. They've known each other forever. And they were involved in a deco together. They have their own. So Tinubu has a lot of friends. And among his friends, he's probably going to be more impressed with one or the other. So and since I'm not his friend, I'm not his enemy, but I'm not one of his friends. So I see that as a friendly discussion among them because uh, before the election, uh, so what I will meet with Jenica because uh, during the, after the election, I think he's been there two, twice or twice. Uh, same thing with Peter Obi, I think he was very keen on Jenica's endorsement. They were all for Jenica to endorse them. And we were really working hard on Jenica to endorse them. So, and uh, after the election, they went to Jenica and told Jenica their life story. Part of which is now uh, revealing a bit of it to them. So they were, they were the ones who used their mouth to tell Jenica that they didn't win the election. And that uh, they, they, they try to fight and see what they can get out of it. What is Jenica is not in their think of they were the one who went there to tell him by himself. So Jenica is a, I think, I think, apart from what he's doing in the Middle East now, trying to translate something to Arabic, translate Bungi uh, Aves uh, or Arabic for them to understand. He hasn't got much job. So if they want to fight him, he has their time. And the man is 90 something. So he can always get away with anything. He's closer to the gods now than human, the human being. So I don't want to uh, waste my time on that. There is nothing Tonyga has to add to what happened to the election that we already don't know about ourselves. The only thing he's telling us is the fact that uh, some of the people who are doing election petitions, especially labor, that they had told him they didn't win it, but they just had to win it. Uh, so I'm not going to intervene in that, but add to my max. Early March uh, interview with uh, with Rice TV, I had mentioned it that one of the problems we will face in this obviously bad election is to try to make claims that we cannot sustain. And internal numbers show to me that the election was very bad. And I counsel everybody that we should just be talking the way I'm talking now to say the election is bad. Is that in this area, that area, that area? We should cancel this election and do a proper one so that the Nigeria will not regret the next four years. But uh, when people were supposed to reach that conclusion or that consensus that the election was rigged, some decided to change their mind and say, I, I won, not my mandate. And then they play to the hand of the legal system and there's nothing to do about it. Because if you say you won, then you put yourself with an onus to go and now prove to the court that you want. But if you are genuinely interested in having the election done properly, then it is much easier and more credible to point to the errors of the election and deal with, with those errors and have the election come to everybody will bring whatever they've got. But this is a situation where you want to keep 
the one that prefers you, uh, you work to find the one that's looking for you, uh, it's a little more difficult.